Hello everyone, Unicorn Farts here from Elysium Semi-Realism, and I am going to be filming a showcase for Kellenkin, the terror bird brought to us by Primordial Tyrants, one of the largest foru, oh my goodness, foru sicket? I'm not quite sure. Um, it's one of their, it's their newest mod, and Elysium is heavily considering it. So I thought, why not come on and do a little showcase for you guys. Now the Kalenkin is a carnivore. This is the default male skin. Here's the female, just a very slight difference. Male has more green, female is mostly blue brown so we're gonna do male just to kind of no we're gonna do female i like to do the female ones and i'm never shy about how big a fan i am about primordial tyrants they are just probably one of the best subjectively modding teams from uh working in path of titans right now it was actually their um, no rules server was my original community server because I just fell in love with their creatures, especially their Ignis line, which is why Lysium has Ignis. But we are talking about the Kellenkin. Um, I do have very fast growth on, but let's do some calls. Let's do the broadcast. They do such a good job with their sounds. There's so many layers. Let's do the friendly, the two call. Love the little wing stretch. Let's do the threatening three call. The tail fan is so extra, very well done. Let's do the four call. So cute. Let's do five. Little dance, look at his little toes. Let's do the six call. Oh, no six? Okay, let me check my controls very quickly because I know PT definitely has a full, yeah, I don't know the ability. Huh, I guess they don't have a six call for the Kellen Ken. They normally do a full roster of calls. Oops. That was the five again. Let's do the seven. Little look around emoji. I mean, that's pretty much staple. Let's do the eight. Oh, it's preening. Oh, look at your armpit, little guy. And nine. Oh, just a little dust bath. That is very unique. I love that. Okay. And let's look at the walk. like on gazelle model legs like a Naomi Campbell I don't know why my game is lagging so horrifically bad I think it's because my PC is a pile of junk um let's do the run I mean everything that PT does is just so well done so oh the jump I have absolutely no complaints this is what every modder should aspire to bring to the table and let's go ahead and look at our abilities. I'm going to read through them for you guys. Abilities. The senses. PT does um, all the senses. I kind of am not a big fan. Uh, I like that this lets you personalize your dinosaur but have it look the way you would like it to. You're not stuck with the visuals of a subspecies just to get the stats you want. So I do like that. I just, I don't know, the, the icons, they're not giving. Like, they're good enough, but anyway, you have standard with no changes. Stamina, which is plus 10% recovery. Speed, 5% boost. And attack for 3% extra damage. For the head attack, you have the basic bite that does medium damage. Then the bludgeon causes low damage and bleed. It's interesting for bludgeon. I feel like it should just, like, when I think bludgeon, I think a blunt attack. I feel like it should just do knockback, but it's okay. Um, front limb, we have one feather fan. Activate for a quick forward boost of speed. That's cute. 
three different metabolism choices. Hypercarnivore is the default, only able to eat meat, but your food and water drains 50% slower. Scavenger, you can eat meat, fish, carrion, bones, and you get 30% lower water and food drain. Then we have sugar tooth. I always enjoy this metabolism. Um, you can eat fruits and roots in addition to meat. Lowers the food and water drain by 30%. To me, sugar tooth just really boosts the creature's survivability. Hide, we've got two standard with no changes. Lightweight, you get 10% speed boost, but 25% nerf to your turn radius. One leg for a kick that causes medium damage. In back limb we have three. Steady claws, it's a 10% boost to radius. Long strides, 5% sprint speed boost. And a 25% turn radius nerf. And then sure footed, which lowers your fall damage by 20%. Now that I have marks, let's get bludgeon, let's get feather fan, let's get the kick, and I don't need to change the others because this is just a showcase. I'm very curious to see the uh, bludgeon and see if it's, if I still think it, if I would prefer it with knockback versus bleed. I mean, the hook beak on the Kellenkin, I feel like I could understand the bleed, but I feel like it should have been called something different than bludgeon. But let's do the regular bite. Very quick animation. Let's do... So I guess he is kind of using... Well, she's using her pointy beak to, like, stab down. But, again, I feel like it should have been called something different. Like, maybe... There could have been a third head attack, and it could have been, like, I don't know, bleeding stab or something, something more creative than that. And then the bludgeon could have been, like, a headbutt that does knock back, because this creature does have a very substantial beak, very, could definitely be used to knock something back. And let's do the feather fan. Oh, well, I guess I should have been running to do that. It looks like you do have to sprint to use the kick. Let's see. Oh, that feather fan is cute. That would be really good for um, trying to close the distance between you and a prey item, catch up to it, and attack it. Or it could be a really good way to juke an attack from something that's pursuing you, mess up their combat flow. Timing's very important. And let's do the kick. Oh, cute. You do have to be sprinting for the kick. Okay. Now let's look at the skins. Default. This is the first pattern. Second pattern. Third. Oh, that runner is cute. That was the third. This is the first. Second pattern. I love the black by the face. Snowhawk, super cute. I like that one. I love light colors. That's also not something I'm shy about. This one is beautiful. Kanur, Conyur, Conyur. I love the greens. Looks like you get some. These patterns are really nice. Yeah, blues and greens on this one. I really love that because I love colors, especially blue. Blue is my favorite. Um, Kara Killer. More earthy tones. I saw some greens you could pick. Curacao? Cur Curacao? I know that's a bird. I've seen that name somewhere. Um, very cool patterns and colors on that one. Loons, they are some of my favorite birds. I love to listen to their noises when I'm falling asleep. I have a, a loon at a lake noise I listen to sometimes when I sleep. Love that one. Uh, oh my goodness. Lammergear? 
Lammer gear brings out the redneck in me. I really love the patterns on this one. It seems like we have a lot of browns with a russet red. It's like the third skin that has that kind of color pattern. Uh, albino. This is a very interesting albino. I really enjoy that. It looks like the default patterns just with um, albino colors, of course. Those eyes are very vivid. It's a lot of the times on modded dinosaurs, I don't know if just like the eye maps just don't have enough dimension, but PT is on top of it per usual. Melanistic. Everybody's favorite but mine. Columb Ooh, green, purple, brown. Columba. This is a really um, natural way to have a pop of color, which I really enjoy. Harpy. Cute. Very gray and black. And then we have Crestal. Cre Kestrel. Kestrel. Um, I love Crestrels. They're one of my um, friend does a bird rescue and she trains hawks and owls and she does some work with kestrels. Okay, and that is all of the skins. Now the question is, which one am I going to pick just for the showcase? Um, I love the white stripe on that loon one. Let's do the loon because I really enjoy this particular pattern. And thanks to the magic of single player, not having to wait five minutes to see this. Yeah, that's that's very striking, really. And there's a hint of green I couldn't see until now. Love that. Okay, guys, this is the Kellenkin. Another smash hit out of the park by Primordial Tyrants. I'm very, very happy that this creature's out. Like I said, Elysium is heavily considering it. We'll see when it gets added. And I'm glad this came out because I was um, thinking about the Dodo mod. And when I found out that PT was making the Kellenkin, I was like, oh, let's, let's, let's wait. And this thing is like a more terrifying version of a dodo to me so okay thank you guys for watching this quick showcase and hope to see you in elysium discord link is below in the description and thanks for watching